you have a home studio or maybe you perform electronic music, you probably have an audio interface. You're probably wondering what the hell do I do with these uh, little SPDIF digital audio inputs on the back. Here's a few tricks of stuff you can use them for. You might want to use two audio interfaces together if you wanted to use something like the Mac OS aggregate audio devices to combine two audio interfaces into one to get more channels, or if you wanted to synchronize the audio from two completely separate computers. Unlike analog audio, digital audio runs on a clock. Therefore, you should synchronize these two interfaces or you might end up with errors. The Mac's aggregate audio devices corrects for these errors, but you'll get a higher quality result if your interfaces are synchronized. If we're gonna make this top one the master, we simply take its SPDIF output with our RCA cable. And again, you don't need any special digital cable. You plug it into the input on the slave interface. And all we need to do is on this interface's control panel on the computer, we just set it to clock for its SPDIF input and voila, synchronized interfaces.